how do you do these fellas? This is your whole super poopy. And what do we have here? Something that my recruiter hooked up now. I would shout him out, but I didn't ask for permission. I'll probably shout him out later because uh, he said he could possibly give me another one. He has to get someone's permission. Obviously, I don't want to steal all his shit. But out of the kindness of his heart, he decided to give me this one MRE. Why? Because I gave him the number and he gave me my dream job. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyways, um, yeah, he gave me this awesome MRE. I found out that it's Vietnam War era. Could possibly be post-war. But uh, it is a B1 unit tuna fish MRE. It doesn't just have tuna. Please focus on me, you bitch. We have problems with the camera. God, I look like Darth Sidious. I've been wearing a hat and working outside all day. But anyways, we're going to take a close look at this MRE or meal combat individual. It just sounds kind of funny, but that's, it's a meal. It's an MRE. So let's look. <laughs> Oh, it's real pretty, but I tell you what, look at that caption. It says, Meal Combat Individual. So it's for one individual. Uh, yeah, that's the definition. Uh, but anyways, we got tuna fish. So we're going to eat some fishy stuff. A B1 unit. Not exactly sure what that stands for, but I did look it up. And this should be a Vietnam era uh, MRE. So uh, let's get right into the point, all right? Oh, look, very lovely. As you can see, we got a spoon right here. Pretty durable, made out of plastic. Oh, that's washable. Yeah, that's reusable. If I open this, like, I could I could use this, wash it, but, you know, it's a piece of plastic, so it's made very expendable, but at the same time, it's not, like, shitty cheap plastic, you know? You can keep on using it. It feels like, uh, kind of like a baby feeding spoon, you know what I'm saying? So, this is very good, you know? I may actually use this if I ever decide to open this up. Other than that, I'm gonna keep it pretty sealed, you know what I'm saying? Now, we got a bag right here, but what's inside of it... Ooh, poor choice for a font color, but as you can see, it's very brown, and the font is just very dark, so it just don't, does not help. So it is marked accessories packet, so that is lovely. Matches, chewing gum, toilet paper, ooh, very lovely. You got to wipe out there, okay? One of my neighbors was an Iraq veteran, and they always asked for wet wipes from his own mother because he couldn't wipe his ass during deployment can you imagine how rashy and hot that backside could get very nasty gotta have toilet paper and a clean ass because swamp ass is not good in a combat situation i've never been in a combat situation but i have been uh you know into sporting events in, with swamp ass it's not good so i can only imagine how much worse it would get during a firefight anyways sugar salt and cream substitute and coffee instant very lovely all good shit all good shit very awesome some of these actually come with Mar uh, marlboro cigars um which uh i mean if it would have had a shit i would have smoked one right now but anyways let's take a further in look so that's gonna be good uh let's see oh man we got peanut butter it's a little slim can as you can see it's a very beautiful nice army green color so if you use if you lose this in a green area like a forest or a jungle uh, you're fucked because it's camouflage but you know gotta be safe gotta camouflage everything i guess uh as you can see peanut butter fortified kern foods inc industry calif i assume that stands for california so a lot of this stuff was packaged in california the box new jersey but this the food apparently comes from California, I guess. Uh, it's a very beautiful box. Look at that. Well preserved on point. And keep in mind, uh, this one's in someone's attic. So they were cleaning it out. And uh, that's when my recruiter decided to give it to me. So you can see, tuna can. Very lovely. It's not even inflated. It is well preserved. Just like, I, I wouldn't doubt if I could open this up and eat it right now. As you can see, it has this silver lining. I don't know why the cans of back then were like that. But for some reason it is. Uh, it's got a little bit of yellow. I'm not sure if that's rusting because tuna does have liquid as you can see. You can hear the water splashing in there. Very lovely. Um, yeah, just the tuna right here. Uh, I think this is dated. I saw somewhere here it was dated 1970 or possibly 78 which is post-war. So I'm not sure what I'm dealing with. As you can see it has a cardboard separator. Very nice, but we're going to see what else we got here. I don't know if y'all have eaten uh, tuna with mayonnaise, but it's very good. And then you put it on the tostada. Very lovely if you got tuna at home. Uh, quartered pears, California uh, canners and growers. So they grow and uh, can it up. So that's very lovely in San Francisco, California. So yeah, all of this food comes from California. That's very lovely. As you can see, it's got the silver thing. And uh, usually these boxes sometimes come with the little can openers that you stab in there. And then you move it up like that, like that. I've used one, but it's kind of complicated. But once you get used to it, it's real easy to use. I'll put a picture of it uh, up on top. So very lovely. 
quartered pears. I don't know if this is still good to eat, but I'm gonna keep all of this well preserved and use it as props for when I get a Vietnam kit going. So uh, let's look at the last can here. B1 unit, crackers. Don't get offended, white boys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, uh, crackers, uh, candy, southern packaging and storage i feel it's kind of weird that you can just make fun of white people and like no one will care but but the other ones are special <laughs> no i'm just kidding but yeah let's not get too edgy here we might get in trouble but yeah that might stand for the year i'm not sure if that's the year and this is possibly a month 1978 maybe i'm not too sure but i wouldn't doubt if they use these uh vietnam war style uh mres uh after the war or whatnot but as you can see Still has the crackers in there. They're probably stupid rancid and smell like plastic. I don't know if you smelled old, old food. But yeah, I think that's about it. But yeah, that's everything. Peanut butter, tuna, crackers, and quartered pears. And the good shit in here. You got matches without the cigars, so that, that kind of sucks. You know, every now and then you want to smoke a fat one, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, it is very lovely. Uh, we may get another one, and I may end up just combining this video with another one and just open up a bunch of MREs in one whole video. Uh, but I hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe. Mucho love. Take care. And uh, let me know what else you want to see, what other stuff, or hell, if you want to see some cooking techniques of uh, back then in the military or whatnot because, you know, canned food wasn't always a thing or uh, MREs that never go bad, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, like and subscribe. Mucho love. Take care. I'm heading out now. Love y'all.